Here it comes, television's most exciting hour of fantastic prizes. Live from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, it's the retro edition of the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap. And now, here is the star of the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap, Neil Rocks 87. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another retro edition of the Price and Game Recap. As I said in my first video, it's my birthday. But today, this is, this is, it's not only my birthday, it also happens to be the birthday of my favorite Price is Right model. Everybody knows this by now. That's right, Rachel Reynolds. This, this recap I'm doing is for you, Rachel. I hope you're watching this. If you are, happy birthday. Let's get that out of the way first. I am promising, no, 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 I take that back. I am guaranteeing an awesome recap with this one. Today, we are doing the episode that aired on Monday, February 19th, 2007. This also happens to be Rachel's 300th episode of The Price is Right. Oh, this is going to be awesome. You will not be disappointed in this, so grab a snack, grab something to drink, sit back and enjoy it. Let's get started. Our first four contestants called to come on down were Eugene, Luann, Robin, spelled R-O-B-Y-N, and last one race was Benjamin. And our models for today were Lanisha Cole, Gabrielle Tewitt, and of course Rachel Reynolds. Okay, our first item up for bids was Quantum Fitness Q2.5 Treadmill, modeled by Gabrielle. Our bids were Benjamin bid fourteen fifty, Robin bid twelve hundred, Luann bid nine ninety nine, and Eugene bid fourteen fifty one. The actual retail price of the treadmill was one thousand nine ninety nine. The winner is Eugene. Eugene joined Bob at door number two. His game was already in plain sight as the camera changed positions. <laughs> oh, fade, faded would be a better word. Camera faded into position. Let's put it that way. Eugene was playing a game that is no longer played on the prices, right? Hmm. We'll get to that in a second. But he has a chance to win, as Rich Fields said. A wonderful array of prizes! First was an HMS Victory model ship from handcraftedmodelships.com, modeled by Lanisha. An ESP electric guitar and bass guitar, also modeled by Lanisha. A 5 horsepower snowblower, modeled by Lanisha and Rachel. A Roy Hill Tropical Retreat dinette set, modeled by Rachel. And last but not least, an Aquabot pool. Pool cleaner. Pool? Yes. An Aquabot pool cleaner, modeled by Rachel. Eugene can win these five prizes. Playing a game that is no longer play on the prizes, right? He's playing credit card. His credit limit today was $2,500. So, just in case you're not familiar with how credit card works, Eugene has to buy three of these prizes and not exceed his credit limit of $2,500. Basically, buy the, the three least expensive prizes and he'll win. Okay, first he chose to buy the model ship. The price of that was $9.99. Good choice. He now had $1,501 remaining. Next he bought the pool cleaner and that was $5.99. He now has $9.02 left. 
Last but not least, he decided to buy the snowblower. If it was anything less than 902, or I guess it would be 902 or less, he would win all five prizes. Actual retail price of the snowblower was... $670! Eugene is a winner! We never got to see the actual retail prices of the other prizes, so we don't have a total for how much she won. But nonetheless, Eugene's a winner! So congratulations, Eugene! Alright, our next contestant to come on down was... Eric! And the second I know of for bids was a Carlton Manor desk from Pulaski Furniture, modeled by the birthday girl, Rachel. Okay, our bids were Eric bid $1,500. Benjamin, Benjamin bid $2,100. Robin bid $1,100. And Luann bid that ever so famous bid. One dollar. The actual retail price of the desk was $1,230. The winner was Robin. Robin joined Bob at the giant price tag. When she got up on stage, Bob asked her what did she hope to win, and she said, I don't know, a new car? Bob points to door number two and says, show her. And Richfield says, yep, it's a new car! Robin was playing for a Chevrolet Monte Carlo LS Coupe that features standard equipment plus side impact airbags modeled by Lanisha. Robin could win this car playing pocket change. So, as usual in pocket change, she, she does, Robin does start with 25 cents. And here are the numbers in the price of, the possible numbers in the price of the car. One, two, five, six, seven, and eight. And the first number in the price of the Chevrolet Monte Carlo was revealed to be two. For the second number, Robin believed that that was one. Was she right? Yes, she was. She got to take an envelope off the board. For the third number, she believed that was eight. Was she right? Yes, she was. She gets to take another envelope off the board. She's in pretty good shape right now. For the fourth number, she believed it was five. Was she right? No, she wasn't. Lanisha raised the price of the car to 50 cents. She then believed the fourth number was seven. Was she right? No, she wasn't. Lanisha raised the price of the car to 75 cents. Next, she believed the number, the fourth number was six. Was she right? Yes, she was. She gets to take an envelope off the board. And last but not least, for the fifth number, she believed that was five. Was she right? Yes, she was. She gets another envelope off the board. So she has 25 cents already. And the price of the car is 50 cents. So she needs to get a total of 50 cents in these four envelopes. By the way, the actual retail price of the car, 21865 so she has 25 cents to start with. In the first envelope, we found a dime. 10 cents. So she's up to 35 cents. In the second envelope, we found a nickel. It's getting worse. She's up to 40 cents. Third envelope. Another dime! She only has 50 cents so far! So, in this last envelope, we need at least 25 cents. So, she could end up with a card that says 25 cents. 
50 cents, the 75 cent card, or possibly the two dollar card. In order for her to win anything less than that, it's when Bob revealed what was in the fourth and final envelope, it turned out to be... 25 cents exactly! Robin is winner number two on The Price is Right. That was awesome! Oh, let's keep the winning going, shouldn't we? Next contestant that came on down was Amanda. And the third item up for bids was a selection of Delta Professional Power Tools, modeled by Lanisha. Amanda bid $800. Luann bid $801. Eric bid $900. And Benjamin bid $901. Actual retail price. $1,140. The winner is Benjamin. Alright, Benjamin joined Bob on stage and had a chance to win a living room group from Best Home Furnishings. This was modeled by Gabrielle. It was a prize package worth $3,365. Benjamin could win this uh, prize package playing the world famous Cliffhangers. Benjamin can win this in Cliffhangers by knowing anything about these three small prizes, which were modeled by Rachel, that Rich Fields is going to tell us about right now. Rich Fields, if you please. All right, Bob. First, add some funky flair to your house with this rotating disco ball lamp. Second, this pocket-sized electronic game lets you take backgammon to wherever you go. And third, this brightly colored coffee pot serves up to 12 cups of your favorite morning brew. Thank you very much, Rich. First, for the disco ball lamp, Benjamin believed that was $17. Was he right? No, he wasn't. Alright, Mountain Climber's on his way up the cliff. One, two, three, four, five, six, and he stopped. The actual retail price revealed by Rachel was $11. Next for the backgammon game, Benjamin believed that was $20. Was he right? No, he wasn't. On your way, mountain climber. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and he stopped. The actual retail price? was $30. So he is on step 16. He can move nine steps safely before he goes over the cliff. Uh, for the coffee maker, he believed that was $43. Was he right? It wasn't. I well, got nine steps. So let's hope he's not off by more than that. On your way, mountain climber. 17, 18, 19, and he stopped! The actual retail price of the coffee maker was $40. With the small prizes, Benjamin is a winner with a total of $3,446. Oh yeah, that's three winners in a row. Now it's time to move on to the Showcase Showdown. Okay, our first to spin was Benjamin. He spun 20 cents in his first spin and decided to spin again. Don't blame him one bit. For his second spin, he spun 50 cents, so he has a total of 70. Uh, next was Eugene. In his first spin, he spun 95 cents and decided to stay. Good choice, Eugene. Last one I least was Robin. In her first spin, she got five cents. Had to spin again. In her second spin, she got twenty-five cents. That's or twenty cents. Twenty-five cents total. That's not enough. So we'll see Eugene in the showcase. Our next contestant called the Come On Down was Trudy. 
And our next item up for bids was a bumper pool table. This was modeled by Gabrielle. Judy bid $1,200. Amanda bid $1,250. Luann bid $1,800. And Eric bid $1,251. The actual retail price of the bumper pool table was $2,849. The winner is Luann. She joined Bob at door number two and had a chance to win these two prizes. First was a men's golf equipment package modeled by Rachel, of course, birthday girl. And secondly was a Casa Cristina kitchen island from Pulaski Furniture modeled by Lanisha. Luann could win both of these prizes playing Switch. The golf clubs, golf equipment, golf clubs I guess you could say, was priced at $2,397 and the Kitchen Island was priced at $1,345. Luann decided to switch the prices. So, if indeed the price of the golf equipment is $1,345, we have ourselves yet another winner. That would be winner number four on the prices right today. Let's hope this works out. And when Lanisha revealed the actual retail price of the golf equipment, it turned out to be $1,345. Winner number four is Luann. She won both prizes for a total of $3,742. Oh, we're on a roll. Let's keep it going. I'm so psyched right now. All right, our next contestant was Allison. And our next item up for bids was a collection of desk clocks from HighbrowFurniture.com modeled by Lanisha and Gabrielle. All right, Allison bid, listen to this folks, $100. Okay, as if that wasn't strange enough, Eric bid $75. Wow, I guess we're playing the price is cheap today. Churi bid $500. Oh, there's a normal bid. And Amanda bid $101. Boy, I think it's pretty obvious who's going to win this one. Actual retail price of the desk clocks, $960. Winner is Trudy. Trudy had a chance to win. That's right, it's that time again. A new car! Trudy was playing for a Dodge Caliber SE. It comes with standard equipment plus air conditioning and paint and fabric protection. Oh, by Rachel. Happy birthday, Rachel. Now, Trudy is playing what is, in my opinion, one of, if not the hardest pricing game. This would be, this is going to be a fight to win this card for Trudy. Thankfully, though, she is not playing That's Too Much. I hate that game. It's not That's Too Much, but this is definitely one of the more difficult games. Trudy is playing Stack the Deck. I think our perfect show that we have going so far may be on the line with this one. Well, the numbers in the price of the car, or possible numbers, the seven numbers displayed on the board were 9, 3, 4, 7, 1, 5, and 0. Now, Trudy can stack the deck in her favor if she knows anything about these two products that Rich Fields is going to tell us about right now. Rich, if you please. 
Suffer from skin that is dry, chapped, and cracked. Refresh and moisturize your skin with utterly smooth utter cream to feel utterly smooth. And for a convenient dish that's quick and easy, top off a delicious meal with instant brown rice. Now you Thank you very much, Rich. Trudy believed the price of $1.99 belonged to the Uncle Ben's brown rice. The actual retail price of the Uncle Ben's brown rice was $1.99. So she gets to pick one of the numbers. She can choose the first, second, third, fourth, or fifth number in the price of the car. Trudy chose the fourth number, which was seven. Now, now she can stack the deck in her favor yet again by knowing anything about these two products that Rich is going to tell us about. Purina Cat Chow Indoor Formula contains the wholesome grains and garden greens you indoor cat craves, physical, emotional, complete, that's the Purina Cat Chow way of life. Add Ultra Downy, awaken your senses to a new, freshening experience. Feel the softness, smell the refreshing scent, and see your clothes virtually free of static. New Downy. And here... Thank you once again, Rich. Truly believed that the price of $3.99 belonged to the Purina Cat Chow. The actual retail price of the Purina Cat Chow was $3.99. Trudy chose the fifth number in the price of the car, and that was nine. And last but not least, she could earn another chance, or another free number, and stack the deck in her favor once again, if she knows anything about these last two products that Rich will describe for us. I'm introducing new Tom Smoothies Berry Fusion. They dissolve fast, they work fast, fast relief, never tasted so good. Use as directed. And foot powder will help keep your feet feeling cool and refreshed all day. Thank you once again, Richfield. Trudy believed the price of $4.21 belonged to the Tums Smoothies. The actual retail price of the Tums Smoothies was... $4.21. Trudy chose the first number in the price of the car. Wow. Are you serious? Anybody who who is a fan of the Price is Right knows that you do not pick the first number in step the death for crying out loud. Oh, the first number was one. That was a no-brainer, in my opinion. But she chose it anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a feeling we may have just put this perfect show that we've had so far in, in, in some serious jeopardy, double jeopardy, and final jeopardy here. Okay. I hope this works. For the second number, Trudy chose five. And for the third number, she chose four, making a price of $15,479. Now, as Bob said, if that is indeed the price, we will have had five winners in a row on the Price is Right today. And after what happened in Stack the... This decision she just made in Stack the Deck, that may not happen. But let's hope. Let's hope this works. When Bob pushed the button to reveal what the actual retail price of the Dodge Calabresi mauled by Rachel, I don't want to. I don't want to. I want this to go good for this. This being Rachel's birthday and my birthday, it's more Rachel's birthday than mine right now. Just please let this be right. The actual retail price revealed by Bob turned out to be. $15,479! She pulled that out of the jaws of defeat on that one. And as Bob said, that was a tough win. Oh my god. That was a relief right there. Oh man. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going for a perfect show now. One more pricing game to go after this. Oh man. I don't know how much more of this I can take. All right, our next contestant and final contestant that was called to come on down 
was Charles. And the next item up for bids was a pair of bicycles, his and her bicycles, from Nerve Sports, followed by Lanisha and Rachel. Charles bid $650. Amanda bid $800. Allison bid $1,200. And Eric bid $500. The actual retail price of the his and hers bikes from Nerve Sports was... $1,060. The winner is Amanda. She joined Bob center stage for her pricing game. Bob told her that if, if she wins her pricing game, we will have had a perfect show. Oh, I hope this works. And if she does win this game, she will own this. Well, you really shouldn't say own this, but... She will win a trip to Montego Bay, Jamaica. This was a round trip coach via Northwest World Vacations for a six night stay at the ba Beaches Basketball Resort and Golf Club. Modeled by Gabrielle. Amanda was playing, after, after what just happened with Stat the Deck, Amanda was thankfully playing one of the more easier games. Amanda? was playing the range game. Now, the low price on the range game scale today was $5,300. And the high price way at the top of the range game was $5,900. So, it was time to start the range finder up the scale. And you gotta remember, stop it when you want to because we can't start it again for 37 hours. <laughs> The old joke. Love it. Amanda chose to stop the $150 range at approximately $5,523 as the low price and roughly $5,673 as the high price. Now, if the price of that the trip to Jamaica appears in the dark green strip between those two prices, Amanda wins the trip to Jamaica, and ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a perfect show on Rachel's 300th episode. How cool would that be? The actual retail price of the trip to Jamaica turned out to be... Oh, man... $5,554! Amanda is a winner, and we have ourselves a perfect show! Oh. Perfect show or not, this show ain't done yet. Wait till you see what's coming up in the showcases. But let's not get too far by ourselves, we still got the second showcase showdown to go through. Alright. First to spin in the, in the showcase showdown was Luann. In her first spin, she spun 70 cents and decided to stay. Amanda was next to spin, and in her first spin, she also spun 70 cents and decided to stay. So, if Trudy doesn't beat them, they will have a spin-off. Trudy spun, in her first spin, 30 cents. And in her second spin, she spun another 30 cents for a total of 60 cents, and that's not enough. So it's time for a spin-off. One spin each for both Luann and Amanda. In Luann's first spin, how about this, folks? One dollar for a $1,000 bonus. Okay, Luann will have a bonus spin after Amanda has taken her her spin in the spin-off. In her spin, she got 55 cents. Oh, that's not enough. So Luann's going on to the showcase, but she does have a bonus spin. 5 or 15 and gets you $5,000, and she gets the dollar, she gets $10,000. 
Okay, her bonus spin, she got... Well, no bonus money. She got 20 cents. But we will see her in the showcase. All right. Moving on to the showcases. Top winner in today's showcase was Eugene, and Luann was the runner-up. Showcase number one featured... Hey, hey, can't say this name. Aegean Apparel Sleepwear, that's what it's called. A Roy Hill Northern Lights bedroom group with Comfort and Air GS700 mattress set. And last but not least, a pair of Kawasaki STX-12F jet skis. Eugene decided to pass this showcase to Luann. Luann bid $17,500 on the showcase. And showcase number two featured Things That Roar. And that started with a roar of laughter with a selection of these 10 humorous books, which, uh, which it featured Rachel laughing hysterically, or at least mimicking it. Ah, then next prize was you can hear the lions roar on a 13-day African safari. Wow. And last but not least, hang on to your hats, folks. You can hear the roar of the engine in, believe this, in a new Corvette! Oh man! This Chevrolet Corvette Coupe comes with a standard equipment plus six-speed automatic transmission, chrome aluminum wheels, performance package Z51, and preferred equipment group 3LT modeled by Rachel. Oh man, that's awesome. All right, it was time for Eugene to place his bid. Before he placed his bid, he told Bob he wanted to thank him for blowing a kiss to his wife out in the audience. And that, in his next statement, he said with great confidence, he bids $60,000. Seemed like a pretty good bid to me. Okay, for the showcase reveals, Bob went to Luann first. She bid $17,500 on her showcase. Actual retail price? $24,044. A difference of $6,544. All right, over to Eugene. He bid $60,000 on his showcase, which, as you may recall, included a Corvette. The actual retail price of Eugene's showcase turned out to be... Seventy-one thousand nine twelve. A difference of eleven thousand nine twelve. Luann is the showcase winner. Luann won a grand total in cash and prizes. Well, I guess in this case would be prizes only. Thirty-one thousand six hundred thirty-five dollars. Congratulations, Luann. Promotional consideration for this edition of the Price is Right Pricing Game Recap is brought to you by Snickers. Because you're not you when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. Snickers happens to be, or at least from what I know, to be Rachel's favorite candy bar. That's why I picked this out. So Rachel, I hope you like this. So, that, that, that that's going to do it for this. I... I want to thank you for watching, and happy birthday, Rachel. I'm sure, I hope you're watching this right now. So if you are, happy birthday. I wanted to do something for you, so this I felt this was it. This was a fantastic show. Your 300th episode for your birthday, perfect show. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Well, unless there was a couple perfect bits in the contestants row, but... Maybe with that Corvette being one in show, the showcase, but hey, I'm not complaining. This was a fantastic recap to do. I'm so glad I got to do it. Probably my best recap I've done. 
easily. Both retro and current recaps I do. Awesome show. So, thanks for watching. Rachel, everybody knows this, but, or at least most people do. Everybody knows that last year in 2014 I got to go to the Price is Right and meet Rachel and she's the absolute sweetest person you'll ever meet in the entire world. Beautiful inside and out. There's no mystery to that. So, thank you guys for watching. Rachel, thank you for being one of the coolest people I know, ever will know. I can't say thank you enough. She's the absolute most amazing person in the entire world. I want her to do this for her birthday. So Rachel, again, happy birthday. It's my birthday too, but this is for you. This is for you. All right, that's gonna wrap this up. Thank you for watching. This is Neorox87. Remind you to help control the population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Goodbye, everybody.